Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. Good morning to everyone. Good morning po sa lahat ng mga nanonood online, sa kanika nilang mga tahanan, and also sa ating mga missionaries all over the world. Hindi ko na po isa-isahin, but you know them. You know them. Alam niyo na po sa sarili niyo, meron tayo sa Saudi Arabia, di ba? Special mention talaga Saudi Arabia. But I praise and thank God that This day is an ordained day para magpuri sa Panginoon. We should not take it for granted. Amen? So, ako po, ako po si Pas Jen, sa mga hindi pa po nakakakilala. But I would like to thank this opportunity. This opportunity to be used by God in spite and despite of what was happening previously. And so, as we hear the words of God today, let us pray. Let us all join me in prayer. And sabi nga ni Pasyen kanina, focus sa Panginoon. Focus sa Panginoon. So, wala pong matutulog. Let's all pray. Open our heart. Father God, marami pong salamat. Sa umagang ito, Lord, you are such a wonderful God and you deserve the highest praises, O Lord. And by this very time, Lord, we simply humble ourselves, Lord God. We simply, Lord, seeking sick heart, Panginoon, long to your heart, your message today, Lord God. And so, Father, we ask for your holy anointing. To be in each and every one of us, O God. Let each one's heart be like a fertile soil, Lord. To receive your message. Not just, Lord, to understand, Lord, but always, Lord God, to see, to embrace, and to love and obey your words that you're going to reveal today. And so, Father, it is you alone, Lord God, to be enthroned in all the words, Father, that will be coming from my lips will be just coming from you alone and not from me, Lord. Only you alone, O God, to be exalted, exalted, Lord. And Lord, Let your Holy Spirit be magnified and take control of everything. I cannot do this alone. Lord, you are in charge of this. We pray all of this in the mighty name of Jesus. As we say, we love you, Father. We love you, Jesus. And we love you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. So, alam niyo po, we are still in the series. Uh, actually, last week, nasimula na ni Nanay Sara, ni Pastora Sara, ang ating series for today, which is entitled, Faith and Trust, Inseparable Matter of the Heart. So, ano po yun? Yung, yung trust at saka yung faith, talagang they are closely, closely related. Kaya po, yung ating scripture, it came from the book of Look. Kaya, take a look of it, no? Sa Luke 7. Luke 7, when, it's, when it comes to faith and trust, doon po natin makikita. Kasi si Luke talagang, uh, ano siya eh, very, very detailed siya. So yung faith and trust, it is inseparable matter of the heart. Why? Because this will examine our hearts, this will examine our, our, our faith, our walk in faith, our trust in Jesus Christ. So last week, nabagit na rin ni Pastor Shane kanina, yung formulang iniwan ni Pastor Sara. Ano yung formula? Pag formula, lagi yan. May plus, may minus. ba? Diba? So, merong faith plus additional yun, ha? <laughs> faith plus humility plus trust plus obedience, and equals to miracles. And that was experienced by the, uh, this uh, servant of the centurion. He got healed. 
And this great, because of this great faith of this, this centurion. So, our great faith was tested last week, I believe. Sino po dito yung natest yung great faith last week? Amen! Me too. <laughs> Isa po ako doon na natest. Uh, and natitest pa rin yung faith. So, ongoing po yung, yung ating faith sa Panginoon. So, Yes, every day natitest ang ating faith. Every day natitest ang ating faith. Yes, we believe in God. Yes, we believe more on Him. Kung talaga nagbabasa tayo ng Word of God. Yes, alam natin kahit tayong pagalingin ng Lord. Yes, alam natin kaya mag-provide ng Lord. But you know, though we believe all of this, yung mga alam natin about sa Panginoon, though we believe all of this. Sometimes our faith wavers, di ba? pa fluctuate. <laughs> Sometimes our, our faith to Him, hindi, hindi siya nagiging stable. So our faith wavers. May mga tanong tayo, di ba? Lord, lalo na nung nag-pandemic. Lord, bakit nangyayari ito? Meron tayong mga questions. There are questions in our walk with God, yung ating faith sa Panginoon, that sometimes it wavers our faith. May mga reasons why, why it wavers, especially when, sabi nga, if, if difficult times happen into our lives, magkakaroon po tayo maraming tanong. Questions easily quick popping up in our mind. Marami po tayong tanong. Yes, marami tayong tanong. But that faith is that 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 questions that um that struggles in believing is just normal at first. What is important is what is our response. So our faith in God does not just end in our mind. It requires, sabi nga ni Pastor, uh, uh, Pastor Rashin kanina, it requires the action, the faith. And James, si James, kilala niyo si James? Sa book of James. Huh? <laughs> reminds us, reminds us, sabi, sabi ni, ni James, na faith without action is dead. Yes, we know about God more, I mean, but we don't respond on the way, on that faith context. It still remains dead. So, mahilig po tayong nagtatanong pagkaganyan. Dahil may mga, you know, mga pangyayaring di natin maintindihan. So, today, our, our message, our message for today We'll check our hearts and align our hearts, our faith, in trusting God. The title of today's preaching is Unwavering Faith. Unwavering Faith. Unwavering. Single mind. Single minded. Unchanging. It, it means steadfast. So, hindi nagbabago. So, when we say faith, un unwavering faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. So, there is confidence. There is confidence in our faith coupled with trust. So, hindi yon nagsiseparate. So kapag nagtanong na tayo, malamang we are struggling now with our trust with God. So our anchor verse will be coming from Luke 7 verse 20. Let me read it to you. When the men came to Jesus, they said, John the Baptist sent us to you to ask, Are you the one who is to come? Ano yung pisa ng the one who is to come? What's up in this question? What is 
John's disciples looking for. Actually, sinend lang ni, ni John. Sinong John ito? Si John the Baptist po. Hindi po ito si John the Beloved. So what is it in that question that made John send his disciple to, to ask this question? That's what we're going to find out in our scripture today. So pakikalabit nyo yung inyong mga katabi. Sabi nga ni Papi, uh, kurot-kurot. <laughs> kurot-kurot. <laughs> Gising-gising. <laughs> Alright. Before I, I, I will walk you through the scripture, um, let me tell you what is happening in this uh, scripture at that time. Alam niyo po si Jesus Christ, on the peak of his ministry, alam natin na he always healed the sick, he always made the, the, the eyes of the blind open. Marami siyang mga miracles na ginawa. He preached boldly. He, he sent the message. He, he even raised the dead from life. Kung kayo yung nasa time ni Jesus Christ, ang gagawin nyo doon, usi din tayo, no? Or makamamamangha din tayo. We will all be amazed. Right? So put ourselves in this scripture. So at that time, alam nyo, at the peak of the ministry of Jesus Christ, he, he was in Capernaum, in Capernaum, you know, in Galilee, and the northern part of Israel at that time. So he, sabi nga nung last nating meeting, uh, si kay Pastor Saray, he was in Capernaum, and then uh, he, he healed the sick, he, the servant of the of this uh, of the centurion, and then maybe as he walks, not maybe, but on that place, maybe uh, malapit na dun yung nain, no? Nain, di po siya eight or ten. It's nain. It's a place. It's a place po. Nagets niyo po ba? Uh, so it's a place. So may funeral don na daan ni Jesus Christ, and then nakita niya yung widow umiiyak. So, yun. Uh, natouch yung heart niya. <laughs> and then, <laughs> what, he, what he did is that he raised that, uh, with, uh, that widow's son into life. So, ito po yung nangyayari at that time. And alam niyo po, talagang maamis ka kung ikaw yung follower ni Jesus Christ. Isa ka sa mga na doon, sa crowd, no? And, most especially that we are all disciples, so we will be amazed if we are there, if we were there in, the, in his time. So let me walk you through this scripture. It's, it will be coming from Luke, Luke 7, verse 16 to 23. So sama, sabayan niyo po ako magbasa para po yung mata natin, our, our eyes will be ano, focused pa rin. No, hindi lang po yung ating kakainin later. So in verse 16, they were all filled. Who are, who are they? The crowd. With awe and praised God. A great prophet has appeared among us. Sabi nila. God has come to help his people. Sabi nila. Bakit kaya yung naisip nila? Because at that time, alam nyo po, when they heard of this uh, prophet raising, raising this uh, dead, uh, raising the, the person from life, uh, from dead to life, akala nila ano na yun, yun talaga yung Messiah, yun yung prophet sa kanila at that time. So, but Jesus Christ is more than this, right? Jesus Christ is more than this. Verse 17, this news about Jesus is spread throughout Judea, the surrounding country. The peak of Jesus' ministry was at hand. Sabi ko nga kanina, no? Yung popularity niya, all over. All over the place, yung mga, mga nearby places. Kilalang kilala si Jesus Christ. Then John's disciples, si John the Baptist to, ha? Si John's disciples, kasi alam niyo po, yung mga disciple ni John, uh, also became the disciple of Jesus Christ, right? Like, just like Andrew. Andrew. So, told him about all these things. Yung mga nangyayari. So, calling two of them, bakit niya tinawag? Kasi at that time po, si John, 
Pwede naman niyang sabihin, uh, hindi natawagin yung mga disciple, but John the Baptist is at that time was in the prison. Nasa ka, ano po siya, kulungan po siya. Bakit? He was in the prison because of rebuking this King Herod. At that time, di ba, nagpipreach siya about, uh, about repentance. Uh, King Herod, alam niyo po, ano siya eh, he married this, uh, the, the wife of his brothers uh, named Philip. So John the Baptist rebuked this King Herod. But kaya siya, si King Herod naman, of course, uh, king siya eh. So, no, no way. Sige, ipakulong yan. So, yun po yung situation right now that, Jesus, that John is in prison. He was in prison and then pinatawag niya yung kanyang disciples. Uh, calling two of them. So, in verse 19, he sent them to the Lord, to the Jesus Christ, and asked, Are you the one who is to come? Or should we expect someone else? Wow, what, what a question. <laughs> what a question. In verse 20, continue natin. When the men came to Jesus, they said, Jed the Baptist sent to us uh, to ask you, are, are you the one who is to come? Or should we expect someone else? So John's question showed the depth of what he was struggling with. Kung kayo, maka, maka, kung kayo si Jesus Christ at that time, and, and tanungin ka ng ganyan, Ikaw ba talaga? O baka naman hindi, we. Di nga. Di ba? Ano yung magiging respond mo? And that is the exciting in this in this uh, scripture. How Jesus Christ respond, responded to this question. Let me continue. Verse 20. At that very time, so exactly at that moment daw, Jesus cured many who had diseases, sicknesses, and evil spirits, and gave sight to many who were blind. So he replied to the messengers, Go back and report to John what you have seen and heard. The blind receive sight, the lame walk, those who have leprosy are cleansed, and the deaf ear the, de the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the good news is proclaimed to the poor. Wow. Hindi sinagot ni Jesus Christ ng oo o hindi. Let me continue in verse 23. Bless is anyone who does not stumble on account of me. So here we see um, great men, great men in the Bible, John the Baptist, who is, was in prison. And then, but from his question, we believe that he is struggling in his faith. He is struggling in his trust to the Lord. And let us, sabi nga ni Pastor Benjus, ako ba narinig yun, masticate. Let us masticate deep about the scriptures that we, we, we uh, read. So let us learn and take a look at the reason why John the Baptist had this question, had this doubt question. To Jesus Christ. Let us take how Jesus Christ responded. So the life of John the Baptist and the life of Jesus Christ. The response of Jesus Christ. You know, sila po, eh, nakakatawa, no? Sila po yung nandito sa scripture and they were cousin. Ang ganda pong pag-usapan, no? Ang ganda pong pag-usapan kung ikaw, yung anak mo, at yung tatay. O yung nanay, di ba? Kaya sa mga magulang yun, magandang pag-usapan eh. 
So here naman, si John the Baptist at si Jesus Christ, they are cousins. Kasi po yung, yung si Elizabeth, yung, at yung si Mary is uh, magkamag-anak po. So, let us to take us at the life of John the Baptist. What is the circumstance circumstance or the condition of John the Baptist at that time? I said earlier that he was in prison. And being in prison, alam naman natin, natin na you will be yung... Alam to ni Papi kasi nakulong siya eh. Uh, sino pa ba yung mga nakulong? <laughs> Yan. Alam niyo po ito. So, so John the Baptist, re remember na si John the Baptist, he is the one foretold in the Old Testament that he was the one who will prepare the way of the Messiah. He, will, he, he was the one who was, um, and pa ba yung remember natin? He was the one who's, who is the voice calling in the wilderness. Sabi niya sa John 1, no? John 1, John 2, repent for the kingdom of God is coming. And alam niyo po si John the Baptist, siya rin yung, um, he's, he was the one who baptized Jesus Christ. Right? And he, he was the one who heard the voice of God. Diba? Ano yung sinabi niya ni, ni Lord na narinig niya? This is my son, my beloved son, in whom I will please. Alam niyo po, pag narinig niyo yung ganun, so talagang, Lord, totoo ka. Lord, totoo si Jesus Christ is the Messiah. So John knew, John knew kung sino talaga si Jesus Christ. He is the Lamb of God who takes away the sin of the world. But then John was in prison. So, your situation niya, that he will be proclaiming, he will continue to share about Jesus, pero nasa prison siya. Parang contradicting, di po ba? Na, eh, paano ko magagawa yung ministry ko ngayon? So, the situation right now of John the Baptist is really hard for him. No? Imagine ninyo, nasa desert, he was boldly proclaimed Jesus Christ, and then, then suddenly, nasa prison siya. Parang hindi siya sanay. Yung, yung palaging nasa labas, tapos magpupunta lang sa bahay, mag parang magmumukmuk. So, hindi niya yun yung gawain. So, at that time, I feel, I believe, I f that John the Baptist is really down and he's really alone and he feel really neglected. So, parang he was forsaken by God. And so, here, nakita natin from the scripture that Jesus Christ is, is, is so um a famous, and dami nagpapalo sa kanya. The crowd are really amazed sa kanya. That, I believe, ask this question, ponder to, God, to, Jesus, to John the Baptist's mind na, are you, the, are you really the one? Eh bakit mo ako iniwan? Parang ganun, no? Bakit ako nandito? Bakit ako inabandon? Totoo ka ba talaga, Lord? It's just like in our lives, no? Whenever we face trials or hardships sa buhay natin, madalas mabilis tayong magtanong. Sabi ko nga kanina, madalas nasasabi natin, Lord, dyan ka pa ba? Whenever we face these difficult times, Lord, pinaparusahan mo ba ako? May mga hardships tayo na hindi ko man kayo kilala, but I believe we are struggling our faith sa Panginoon when we experience difficult times. We find ourselves going through hard things na, alam mo yun ay, minsan we cannot bear anymore. And we just 
yung situation na meron tayo ngayon, Lord, na napapa-question, nakapapa karon tayo ng question sa Panginoon. Sabi nga ni I remember na hindi hindi lang hindi naman masama na mag-ask sa Lord, but when we question him, that is really not good. So May mga instances na hindi natin maintindihan o map- map- mapaliwanag. Lord, bakit naman ganito? Sabay-sabay pa. Why is it my, my, uh, my family uh, suffered from, or my, my brother, my sister suffered from sickness? You have a sicknesses or, or ano pa yung mga struggle natin? Yung Yung, yung, alam mo yung struggle natin, dahil may sakit tayo, hindi natin makain, dapat natin gainin. Yung mga, alam, ay, hindi dapat, yung mga, alam natin masasarap. Ganyan eh. So, <laughs> did you feel like that? Not, whenever we face difficult times, especially when we are serving God, John the Baptist is, is serving the Lord eh. Especially when serving God, we always ask this question. Lord, bakit naman? Lord, totoo ka ba talaga? Lord, nandiyan ka ba? Are you still there? How we felt that way? Kung hindi nyo, kung hindi nyo man uh, na, na experience that, but I believe each one of us have that struggle, have that uh, struggling trust sa Panginoon. Because, You know, in the situation, in a hard situation, that's the thing that we will know how do we respond to God. Eh? And this time, in the life of John the Baptist, he responded with a question. Tinawag niya yung disciples niya, bakit tanong nga kung talaga ba siya yung the one? Siya ba yung Messiah? Please ask him. I will leave that question to you. Please ask yourself and examine our hearts whenever we have these hard times. Especially when we are in the ministry, when we are serving Him. Lord, favored mo ako, di ba? Nagsiserve ako sa iyo, but what is our motives? What is our motives? Remember, na lahat ng trials, consider it pure joy, sabi ni James. My brethren, when you encounter various trials, knowing that the testing of your faith, testing of your faith, our faith, hindi po yung testing of our family or testing of our finances or testing of our praise, but testing of our faith because God is challenging us to how to respond in difficult times. Maitsasantabi ba natin siya? Or we will just still focus? Amen? So let's take a look at his confusion. This is another reason why he is struggling in his trust to God. Confused siya eh. Bakit siya confused? Ano yung confusion niya dito? Sabi nga kanina, he is the one proclaiming the Messiah. But he believed that that Messiah will politically deliver the whole Israel from the Roman. Yung uh, Roman na uh, conquering them. That Messiah. But beyond that, Jesus come in different way different as a messiah because he will not he will not save us from or deliver the israel politically but he will also deliver each one of us each one of the israelites from the sins so yung pagkaka intindi ni john the baptist is just limited limited information yung limit limited information that we have from the word of God, from the, sabi nga, uh, we are perished because of lack of knowledge. That will hinder us or not, that will 
made us to struggle in our faith with God. Yes, nagbabasa tayo. Marami, marami tayong mga memory verse eh. And alam ko si Babet yung uh, palaging uh, hustler niya sa pag-memorize. Sample nga, Bet. <laughs> so, memorize natin yan. Lalo na yung delight yourself in the Lord. Alam niyo po ba yun? And He will give you the desires of your heart. Eh, bakit single ka pa? Ang ganyan di ba? Ah. So, nami-misinterpret natin. Ah, delight yourself in the Lord. And He will give you the desires. Ang ta- the question is, what is that desires? Kasama ba dyan si Lord? Galing ba yan kay Lord? Ah, that's the question. It's for you to find out, to examine our, your hearts. How about yung, yung, yung question na, and God will supply our needs. Yung, 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 yung words ni Lord na, uh, uh, yeah, yeah, seek ye first His kingdom and His righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Yes. Eh, ba- bakit Lord, nagstruggle pa rin ako financi- sa finances ko? Baon pa rin kami sa utang. Do we seek God with the right motives? Or we just want added, added, all, added unto me. Added, added. So still the motives of our heart when it comes to the word of God. Most of the time, we misinterpret it in a different ways. We understand it in a different way because we have not enough revelation from God or hindi natin naiintindihan. We, be, we sometimes forget that the Holy Spirit is there for us. Just ask for the wisdom. Lord, di ko maintindihan. Lord, Holy Spirit, guide me. And He is true to His promises, right? He's not a liar. So, Jesus Christ promises His words is true and He will guide you. He will guide us. He will enlighten His words to you for you to understand, for you to embrace, for us to obey, obey that word. And, and John the Baptist relate much on this. He know, He knows the scripture even in the Old Testament. I believe he knows that is that is scripture. But yung his understanding of it is limited and it's not enough. And that is the reason why we struggle. We struggle our faith, our trust to Jesus Christ. And one one, one more thing, yung 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 confusion ni Jesus Christ ay ni ni John the Baptist yung confusion niya in his mind is yung mga wrong expectation di ba yung mga unme, unmet uh, expectation yun nga sabi bakit ako nandito sa prison why am I he, why I am here in prison I am a, I am the I am the one proclaimed to be the one to, uh, to, to prepare the way of the Lord. And bakit nandito ako? Why I am here? He, and his, inf- his expectation that, she, that he will be, uh, he will always be in the ministry, his expectation that, uh, hin- that it will not happen to him, ay hindi na nagkatotoo. It doesn't, it did happen. So with that, I believe we have all expectation. But our expectation are mostly wrong. <laughs> mostly wrong, that's why it's not happening. <laughs> it's not happening. Our personal expectation, si, ang, per, ang personal expect, expectation natin is mostly on our own selves, right? Self-centeredness mostly of our expectation. Mostly, maybe some of us here are longing for a child. Yung couple na matagal na naghihintay, they are waiting to have a child. Maybe some of us here are waiting for so long. Sa partner? Hindi naman. Sa, sa, like for example, sa restoration. Restoration of your relationship to, you, to your husband. 
the Lord, uh, we believe that you will be the one who will restore our relationship. Yes, yes, we always expect like, like that. But what, again, what is our motives? Again, what is our motives? It's just that when our expectation, hindi natin na meet and it doesn't happen the way we expected, it's just a saying, Lord, can you do more? Just like John the Baptist, Lord, can you do more? Can you save me from here? Get me out of here? And that is, the confusion, one of the confusion at that moment in the life of John the Baptist. Now, what is exciting in this scripture is the time that Jesus Christ responded to John the Baptist. He had his confirmation to John the Baptist. So when his disciple came and then asked, are you the one? Sabi nga, oh, pinapunta kami dito ni John the Baptist para itanong, ikaw ba talaga? Are you the one? Or yung pangalawang question, mas matindi. Or shall we expect someone else? Remember that Jesus Christ, hindi niya in-answer yung question, yung question ng mga disciples. Ano yung sabi niya sa scripture? Balikan natin. Sa verse, uh, Verse 20, when the men came to Jesus, they said, John the Baptist sent us to you to ask, are you the one who is to come or should we expect someone else? At that very time, baka hindi na nagsalita si Jesus Christ. Eh. Sabi niya, he cured many of who had diseases, sicknesses, and, and evil spirit and gave sight to many who were blind. So he replied to the messenger, uh, go, go back, go back. Just tell John the Baptist, John, that uh, the blind receive sight, the lame walk, those who had leprosy have cleansed, and the deaf hear, and the dead are raised. So go back, report to him like that. Like that, my friend. So I believe that this is the confirmation of Jesus Christ to John the Baptist. The real answer of Jesus Christ to the question of John the Baptist. Why? Because this uh, works that Jesus Christ had performed is written already in Isaiah, the prophet Isaiah, in the Old Testament. And he, it is fulfilled now in the life of Jesus Christ through his works. And what did that Isaiah said? said that, uh, let me read it to you. And when he comes, it's from Isaiah 35, 5, verse 5 to 6. And when he comes, the Messiah, he will open the eyes of the blind and unplug the ears of the deaf. The lame will leap like a deer, and those who cannot speak will sing for joy. Spring will gush forth in the wilderness, and the streams will water the wasteland. And in Isaiah 61, it said here, this, here, that the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me, for the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to comfort the brokenhearted and to proclaim that the captives, captives will be blessed and the prisoners will be freed. And so I believe that this very scripture of the of the. Lord Jesus Christ from the Old Testament, John the Baptist, alam niya po ito. And then, knowing this, he realized that it is only Jesus Christ who performed, who fulfilled this scripture. And this satisfied the heart of John the Baptist. This satisfied the heart of of John the Baptist. The good thing in the, of John the Baptist is that, you know, when he has this question, hindi niya in approach kung sino man eh. He directly approached Jesus Christ through his messenger. Hindi niya in approach yung mga, good, yung mga priest, yung mga Pharisees. Hindi niya in approach yung mga soldier. But he directly, 
directly approach Jesus Christ. He directly lifts his question to Jesus Christ. Just like for us, whenever we have this question struggling in our faith, then lift up to God. May question ka ba ngayon, kapatid? Then raise it up to God. He will listen. He will listen. And it's not just He is listening. He will prove. And we will, you will just be amazed how God is true to your life. He will just, you will just be amazed how God is true to your life. And the last that we can learn from the scripture and how Jesus Christ responds is his conclusion at that verse. His conclusion that anybody who accepts him, anybody who trusts him, all of his works, all of his ways, if you will not be offended, you will be blessed. But many times, the ways of God, the works of the Lord, hindi natin ma-accept. Many times, we neglected Him. But God, Jesus Christ, promised this to John. John, don't struggle to your faith. I am here. John, I prove already myself. Even when you are still sinners, I died for you on the cross. I died for you on the cross. There's, there's, there's no way. There's no way to struggle in faith. There's no way to not trust to God. That is the greatest security. That is the greatest conclusion of Jesus Christ right now to all of us. Wag natin sayangin. And I believe that John the Baptist is really contented and satisfied to the, to the answer by works of Jesus Christ to him. Kaya nga po namatay siya, di ba, na Alam natin sa Mark, I believe it's in Mark 6, that uh, he was beheaded. He was beheaded by King Herod. So, remember always the scripture that God reminded us today of the situation that we have. Sometimes we have confusion. Sometimes we have this situation na uh, natin ma-accept. But God really confirms. God always conclude through the cross that He accepted us while we are still sinner. How much more pa? Ano pa ba yung dapat niyang patunayan? Amen? So in closing, Jesus wants us the strong, stand strong in faith. Let me read it to you. Faith that never wavers but continuously grow in Jesus Christ. Faith that continuously grow in Jesus Christ. Keeping the faith means continuously trusting God and faithful and be faithful to Him because He will always keep us. And he will always having to increase our faith. The ultimate control that and will indeed is the promises of God sa atin. Faith in Him that is not just a head knowledge, but faith that is fully trusting God. This is a call to action to what we believe in. Sa, sa, sabi nga kanina, what we believe in Jesus Christ. And lastly, Jesus Christ Christ encourages and assures us by His miracles and by His deed, by His word, and by and that He is the one who is to come. Trust Him fully. Let me share it to you once again, yung first question na narinig natin kanina. Are you the one or who is to come? 
I believe that Jesus would say to each and every one of us, there's only one thing. Trust me. Are you the one who is to come? Trust me. Ito po yung mensahe ng Lord. Trust me, and this is our challenge for today. Let me give you an acrostic. Trust. It is how well we respond. For how long we respond to this trust. In trusting God. Hanggang kailan, Lord? Hanggang saan? Palagi tayo may tanong, no? Let me take this challenge and share this challenge to you. And I myself, I myself, I was really, my, my trust in God really challenged in the past few weeks. Sabi ko kanina, Lord, bakit sabay-sabay? Andiyan ka po nga ba? But isa lang ang message ng Lord eh. Trust me, Jen. Trust me. Trust that is take our focus back to Jesus Christ. Baka naman yung focus natin wala na sa Panginoon. Our object of focus is not from God. Sabi sa Jeremiah 7, 7, 17, 7, Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust in the Lord. Kapatid, baka matagal ka nang nade-defocus. Baka iba na yung, yung center ng, ng faith mo, ng trust mo. Examine your hearts. Examine our hearts always. Especially when we face difficult times. Madalas, yung focus natin is nawawala. So trust in God by taking our focus back to Him. Wala na pong iba. Letter R, remain anchored in the Word of God. This is our strong foundation. Yung Word ng Panginoon sa atin. When was the last time that the Word of God na nabasa natin is really alive in our, in our lives? So many times I believe that this Word was revealed to you and you personally experience it. Go back to the Word of God. Anchor yourself to the Word of God. Lord, less na lang yung time kung mag-read mag, mag ng Bible. Ask God, Lord, more time of you. You know, when I was contemplating for this message and for the experiences in the past few weeks, sabi ko, Lord, ano yung message mo? But He brought me in the book of Job. You know who is Job and what Job had done to his life? Kaya Job, eh, no, tsaka Job. But in the last part, I was really amazed when, Jesus, when the Lord expressed all of His might, all, all of His miracles, all His, what is done, and Job repent and Lord, sabi ni Job, Lord, I heard you, but now I see. Lord, I heard you, but now I see. Be excited, be excited to the word of God that he will reveal to you. Yes, we listen. But do we see? Do we experience this word? Allow it. Only allow it. Hindi naman tayo pinipili ni Lord. But it is our freedom to allow Him, His word to move in our lives. With a great faith, just like last week, and now, with a heart full of trusting Him. Amen? And letter U, our undivided obedience to God. This will be, this will be uh, the result of our struggle. When we struggle in faith, 
Do not allow that our, our obedience will be divided sa Panginoon. Do not allow. Lord, pagod na ako after ng work. Lord, pagod na ako. Hindi na ako, wala na akong time sa iyo. Lord, I have no energy. Magmula life lesson pa. Don't allow. Don't allow that our dedication be divided. That our obedience be divided. Kaya our trust, our, our trust to God palaging na challenge. Although we struggle, but then the Lord is a promise keeper. He will always sustain us. So don't be, don't be discouraged. He will always help us. And no matter what, alam nyo, seek and serve. You know, in seeking and serve, that's the result of trusting Him. Eh. We will continue. We will not stop. Just like John the Baptist, though even as a priest, which is still seeking the answer. Let us always be excited to seek Him and serve Him. Serve Him. Parang si John the Baptist, Lord, gusto ko makawala sa prison. Why? Because I, I really want to serve the Lord. Is that what's in our heart? That is our challenge also for us today. I am not be contented. Sabi not sarili, I am not be contented just sitting there. Pwede natin gisingin or i-invite yung mga ka-flatmates natin. Even yung mga nakakasabay natin sa bus. Alam na, kahit na alam na may pinagdadaanan tayo, kahit may mga pinagdadaanan po tayo. Let's not, that difficulties in life stops us in seeking and serving the Lord. And lastly is total reliance to God. Palagi yung sinasabi natin, total reliance from Proverbs 3, 5 to 6. Yes, we know that verse. But I will highlight it, highlight this word with all our heart, not our own understanding, not our ways, but his ways. This is really hard into practice all eh. So do you? Do we surrender? Do we rely? Really, do we rely all of us to God? It's the total surrender and the total submission to God. So for us, our faith will never waver. Let us continually put our trust in the Lord. Let us take our focus back to God. Let us remain anchored in the word of God. Let our obedience be not be divided. And let us seek, continually seek and serve Him. And most of all, the total control, the total surrender, the total submission, and the total reliance be upon the Lord. It is our challenge to all of us here right now. We should have the faith that is unwavering, that is not changing, that is only focused to the Lord Jesus Christ. And let me give you this anchor verse from John 20 verse 31. But these are written. What are these? The miracles, the works of Jesus Christ. These are written that you may believe, you may have faith, you may have trust that Jesus is the Messiah, the Son of God. And by believing, you may have life in His name. Glory to God in the highest. And all we believe that we want to have life, he, even not here on earth but even to eternity. It, that's what we are aiming for. And magsama po tayo. 
Amen? Salamat po sa Panginoon. Praise the Lord. Okay lang pa po kayo dyan? Buhay pa ba ang inyong mga dugo? Napakaginaw po today sa, sa lugar na ito. But praise the Lord because of the message that was, that was provided for us today by the Lord. Amen. I'm sure. Napaka-timely po palagi. Alam niyo ba, ang Panginoon laging on time. Kahit tayo minsan ay hindi on time. But ang Panginoon ay napaka-on time. He always provides. At alam niyo po yung ating need. And I'm sure today that need was uh, was answered uh, by the Lord. Amen. Let's all stand up. I'd like to thank again Pastor Jen, Pastor Jen, who have uh, shared to us today the Word of God. Labing ko sana para pagkanalin ng pangyayari pero may hawak na kayo, so ang yan alam po. You know, again, we're, we're going to remember what Jesus Christ has done for you and for me. You know, more than 2,000 years ago, di- uh, Jesus died for, for our sins. Regardless po kung may assurance na tatanggap sa Kanya ang lahat ng tao. But still, you know, because of His love, because of His great love for all of us, He chose to die for each and every one of us. Let us pray. Father God, we just want to thank you, Lord, for today. Thank you, Lord, for another opportunity to remember what you have done for us in the cross of Calvary. And Lord, we pray, Father God, that this Remembrance, pagre-remember po namin sa inyo ay hindi matigil, hindi matapos, Panginoon. Because without that, Lord, we will not be here in this place. Thank you, Father. We give you all the glory, honor, and praise as we receive and remember again Jesus Christ in our means. For I received from the Lord what I also passed on to you. On the night the Lord Jesus was betrayed, took bread, And when he have given thanks, broke it and said, This is my body, which is for you. Do this in remembrance of me. Let's all partake of the bread. In the same way, after supper, took the cup, lifted up and said, This cup is a new covenant in my blood. Do this whenever you drink it in remembrance of me. For whenever you eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim the Lord's death until He comes. Let's all partake of the cup. Thank you, Lord. Sige po, tayo muna po umupo. And I would like to invite Uh, sige, p- ngayon pwede na tayong pumalakpak sa Panginoon. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we just want to thank you, Lord Panginoon, for more than 100 years of independence, Father God. And Lord God, we just want to, Lord, lift to you our country, the Philippines, Panginoon. Lord, that we believe, Lord, that you have great plans. You have great plans. You have great plans for our country, Father God, and even for us. Your Filipino people, Panginoon, and we continue to release blessings upon blessings in our countries. Lord, marami nga pong mga bad things, ideas po pa sa aming bansang Pilipinas, Lord, but we come against that because we know, Father God, that our country are there, Panginoon, is there, Lord, for a great purpose, Father God. And our prayer right now, Father God, whoever will be Uh, uh, handling the government, Panginoon, we pray, Lord, Father God, for you to continuously, Lord, touch and reach out to them, Panginoon. We pray, Father God, that all the decisions of our leaders, Father God, sa inyo lamang po magagaling, Panginoon. Lord, we pray 
Lord, for our all our leaders, Panginoon, from uh, from the barangay officials till the president, Father God, that they will listen to you, Father God. They will be born again as well, Panginoon, that they will come to receive Jesus Christ as their Lord and their Savior. Because we believe, Lord, that if our God, if the country's God is you, Panginoon, there will be blessings, Panginoon. There, there will be Lord, yung mga plans pa, Panginoon, for that country will come to pass. And we entrust, Lord, na mga nandito ngayon as representative of the Philippines, we entrust our country sa inyo, Panginoon. Lord, ano mang kaguluhan, Panginoon, any calamities, Father God, we pray, Lord, na mapagdaanan, mapag, uh, pag, uh, lagpasan po namin, Father God, we will overcome, Panginoon. We will overcome, Panginoon. We will overcome, O God. Because Lord, you have plans, great plans. Lord, alam ko po, Panginoon, you will send missionaries, Lord, to different countries coming from the Philippines, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat, Father God. We continue, Lord, to declare and claim, Lord, against that you will clean our country against corruption, against gambling, Lord, against Uh, yung mga tradisyon, Panginoon, namin na hindi ayon sa inyo, Father God. Lord, we come against idolatry, Father God, for our country, Panginoon, in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, O God. Lord, pray, Lord, Father God, healing as well for the wounds, Lord, that was caused by the last election and the previous election at saka yung mga previous elections, O God. We pray, Lord, Father God, that there will be healing, Panginoon, that each and every one, Father God, will help each other, that there will be no barriers of politics, Father God, that there will be no barriers of parties, Father God, that each and every one of us will be just Filipinos, Panginoon. Lord, praying for our country, working for our country. Lord, we come against also yung mga ideas, beliefs, Lord, that, that are against Lord, your 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 uh, your scriptures, Father God, sa aming bansa, Panginoon. Oh yes, oh God, we just want to you, to live to you, Panginoon, ang aming bansa, because mahal po namin ang aming bansa. Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon, for the freedom that you have given us, a freedom, Lord, that has responsibilities, Father God, and we pray, Lord, that we'll be able really. To, to, to understand yung mga responsibilidad po namin sa aming bansa, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat po, Father God. We also pray, Lord, that we will be continuously being able to share, Lord, the knowledge of our country to our children kahit pa sila lumaki dito sa ibang bansa, Panginoon. Maraming maraming, even the language, Father God will be able to share to them, Panginoon. Maraming maraming salamat, Father God. We give you glory. We give you honor. We give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. 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 Lord, thank you, uh, Bro Romel, for... Yes. So, you know, uh, let's always remember our country, you know, kahit pa, magpa, kahit pa gano'ng kadaming gluta tayo nang itarak nyo sa inyong pulso. <laughs> At pumuti kayo simputi ng ilaw. Ang kulay natin ay <laughs> same. Ay manggi pa din. Amen. Wala pa na rin, Lord. Let's close in prayer. Father God, thank you, Panginoon, for the message today, Lord. We pray, Lord, that we will be able to continuously trust in you. Though mahirap, Panginoon, alam ko po, may mga circumstances, uh, may mga pinagdadaanan, we are going to pass through trials, Lord, but we pray that we'll be able to continuously hold on to you, Panginoon. Thank you, Lord, for the message shared by past Jen. Lord, we pray, Lord, and continuously declare blessings in her life that you will continuously use her, Lord, as your mouthpiece to share your goodness and love to the people that will be part of her life. Maraming maraming salamat. Lift up your hands. I just would like to release you now. In Jesus' name, I release now my brethren in the power and in favors of God. I declare that All of these hands that are lifted out right now will do good works. We'll share the blessings of the Lord as well. And I pray and declare goodness 
uh, good health and work for those who are looking for jobs and Lord I pray and declare promotion and increases for those who are working Lord let these hands that are lifted up right now Lord be a channel of blessings to the people that we be part of our lives daily Maraming maraming salamat, Panginoon. We give you glory, we give you honor, we give you praise. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Palakpakan po natin ang Lord. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Let's give our endless praise to the Lord. Hallelujah!
ibig mo Wala kitang nagmahal sa akin Nakatulad mo Salamat, salamat O oh, Jesus sa pag-ibig mo Ako'y magsasaya O sa piling mo Ako'y magsasaya O sa piling mo Everyone. God bless everyone. God bless everyone.